Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am doing the 40th special on my YouTube channel. Thanks for all the support and over 1,000 views. And thanks for the 13 subscribers. Today, before I realise I need to eat, I know this is going to be a bit dangerous and it's going to be really, really bad. And I have to reveal it. I'm going to show you how rubbish my HST runs. Now the pulling motor on my HST is so bad that I can hardly even pull an entire set. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to see if I can take the train apart and also have a look at how it runs. Enjoy. Now I'm putting my phone flat onto the circuit to stop the other train from running. So um, I'm going to take the other train off the track. I'm going to show you how crap my other trains are. Except for my other um, class 47, the HST is just rubbish. I don't, I don't like how my poly HST runs. So I'll show you how rubbish my HST runs. We're going to run just the engine and then we're going to have a test of two coaches. So we're going to test one coach each time. So I'm going to put the other coach, I'm going to put the two coaches into the tunnel because I'm not going to run it all the way around the track because that would just ruin the entire video and it would just make a huge mess of the train. And I don't like running this train at all because I've never actually run it. I've only run it once. Right, so here is the crappy HST, and I'm going to run it in a terrible way. So I'm going to move her back. Hang on. And she does sound very poorly. There you go. She hardly runs. Oh. She hardly even runs. In a minute, I'm going to uh, take the train apart. You can see the train. That'd be cool. Let's just bring it back around here. So that's how crap it runs. Now I'm just going to give you a test on two coaches. So I'm just going to line my camera off against one of the objects on here. So as you can see, I've got the HST right here. So what I'm going to do, hang on, I'm just there we go bit too far there. So I've got the HST right here. I'm going to get two of the coaches right here. So I'm going to get these coaches on top of them. Yes, you can see all my brothers stuff in the background. You don't need to bother about that. It is quite embarrassing to see what's going to happen. Oh, I didn't realise the coach was derailed then. So I'm going to back the train up into the uh, so there's your HST, and I'm going to back it up into the coach. Oh, come on. Oh, that's forwards. Well on. Come on. Wakey, wakey. There we go. Coupled it. Let's do a test on this train. See if it pulls one coach. Let's... Fingers crossed, please, can it run on two coaches? Oh, we got something. Yep, we got something definitely there. We definitely got something. Now I just need to reverse the train back. And we'll see if it can run properly with two coaches. So I'm going to bring the train coach over here. Yeah, because this train does not run backwards properly on the same. So I'm going to put that coach over there. I'm going to carry on running the HST round. Hang on, that's reverse. Right, there you go. And I really shouldn't be running this. It, it is a broken engine. I'm going to get the coach here. There we go. Right, I've coupled the uh, two ends up. Okay. Fingers crossed, is this going to work? I'm going to put it in reverse. Oh. Oh. 
it doesn't run backwards with it. So I'm going to run it forwards. That's going to work in forwards, so I'm going to put it on full power. Oh, wow. Takes a leap off there. Hardly gets up on the uphill area. But here, it still works. It still works all the time there. But hardly works on two coaches, so I'm better off running it only on one coach. Which is a really bad idea. Right, I'm very sorry, Paulie HST. You're the best train on earth, but you got a really bad motor, so I'm going to show everyone what it looks like. So this train's got a ring filled motor. These pictures over here. So here's some time where we say hello to the motor on this train. If you can, pull gently just which direction you can do it. Oh that's proper burnt. You can see look, that's proper burnt out. And it looks like it needs a new cog. But hey oh that's a ring filled motor. I need someone to have a proper look at this. Because I have no idea how to fix a ring filled motor. I might need a welding kit. Yeah, and the cog's spinning, that's a bad thing. Yeah. So let's put the uh, wheels back. So that's what a ring filled motor looks like inside of my Hornby HST. And this is a 2006 model. See if my fingers got a bit manky there. Is it me or has it gone a bit dark? I mean, I can hardly see the camera. Hang on. Shall I just turn the light on here? Hang on, I'll just turn the light on. There we go. This must be better. Is that any better? What? It's darker. Oh well. Well, in my eyesight, it might be darker. Yeah. Well. And we'll see if it runs on um, one coach and the back of the train. Now, I know this ain't a good idea. Zeke, why are you doing this? It's a bad idea. So just give me a moment where I fi figure out how to put this really, really burnt out train on running. And I really should be running it, so it is really, really sad and poorly. So I'm going to see if it runs on its on back end and then I'm going to run it to it's one of its coaches into the middle. So I'm gonna have a test here. I should do something to this HST, I should fix it. But I mean it is kind of satisfying how it doesn't work on the whole set. So I've got dummy unit on the end. Oh, that's reverse. Off we go. Nope, no results. HST does not run on the back end of one coach. Right, so that is extremely poorly. God bless you, HST. If I don't manage to get you, I'll have to put you on display. <laughs> oh god, that's going to make me cry, that. <laughs> I don't want to put you on display. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want you to run again. <laughs> to end here guys it, this is just a really sad moment I don't think I'm gonna ever gonna get it fixed like subscribe and I'll see you guys in a bit <laughs>